Thanks for coming. Um, I just wanted to, I think you should all have a copy of the program, so we'll try to stick with the time as much as possible, but there will be, obviously, as we go along, some longer and some shorter sessions, maybe. Uh, this session is about an introduction to the global network, <coughs> and um, I've put together a little kind of series of slides which explain the history of the global network and the kind of way in which we work. I know some of you are familiar with this already, uh, and I apologise for that, but it has got a musical accompaniment, so maybe that will <laughs> help you to bide the time. Uh, and uh, some of you will not know some of this already, so... Um, okay, so this is an introduction then to the global network against weapons and nuclear power in space. Um, okay, so you will have noticed there, there weren't many people in those pictures. It was mainly machines, <laughs> machines technology, not many people, a couple of soldiers maybe. Uh, the next part of the presentation on what we do is about people and how we react to that kind of enormous um, thing that we have to really stand up against. Um, so, the question is, what is the question? Can we keep space for peace? And um, there are ways in which we can do this. Uh, there's already some steps towards this. There are a whole load of treaties, agreements, uh, organizations are working towards trying to bring into operation in the United Nations and elsewhere. We haven't got as far as we should have done by now. But uh, some slight progress is being made. There has been slow progress, and it, in the United Nations in particular. So here are a few dates. I'm not going to go through them, where things have occurred. In particular, Russia and China have proposed um, a treaty, a draft treaty, or a treaty on the prevention of 
an arms race in outer space, Paros, the so-called Paros, the Convention of an Arms Race in Outer Space. They put forward this idea every year at the United Nations. And every year, the US and a couple of other uh, uh, groups, states, vote against it. So the US is still stalling each attempt. And it gets a few countries to back it up every now and then. So in 2014, Georgia, Israel, and Ukraine voted with the US against this idea. And in 2017, last year, in October, France, Israel, Ukraine, and the good old UK voted also against uh, with the with the US. So each time this tries to be put forward, it gets stalled. Um, but there's still discussion, and there's still people are not giving up because Russia and China, in particular, realise that this is a it's an economic disaster to try to uh, create an arms race in outer space. Outer space is huge; it's kind of infinite. And if you want to put an arms race in there, how much is that going to cost? So it's crazy. So the Global Network Against Weapons and Nuclear Power in Space is organizing as much as possible, helping to organize and coordinate, coordinate mainly, the organization comes from local groups, and we try to coordinate. So everybody here, almost everybody here, I think, represents an organization or a, or a personal feeling about this kind of thing. Um, our, our kind of aim is to try to coordinate all those people so we can share information and uh, get together to protest. So I guess this is like the people's response around the world to these kind of actions. And of course we can't um, protest in space, although there has been one protest in space, I think, when some people put up a high altitude balloon mm. with a message on. So, but that's the only one that I know of. Can you remember what the message said for well, I, I think it was something about Trump. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think it was. Yeah. Anyway, this is, so we protest on the ground, on the ground base, around the ground base stations, which support this, um, this uh, horrendous kind of military push. 